How's it going, Dayfit? And in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you five Neo Soul R&B chord progressions. They're gonna be really simple, but effective chord progressions that you can use in your playing immediately. This video is a bit of a special one. I am giving away a free copy of my book, Chord Charisma. So stick around to the end to see what you have to do to get a free copy. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be using the Nashville number system. And the Nashville number system basically assigns a number to each note in a scale. So for example, in the A major scale, which is what we're gonna be using today, the first note is assigned the number one, second note is assigned number two, then three, four, five, six, and seven. And each one of those numbers is a particular chord, one, four, and five being major, two, three, and six being minor, and seven being diminished. Now, all the chord progressions are going to be in A major today, but with the Nashville number system, you will easily be able to transpose them into different keys. Now let's get into the first chord progression. The first chord progression is a four, one, six, five. So in the key of A, the four chord would be D major. Then the one chord would be A major. Then the six chord would be F sharp minor. And the five chord would be E major. So we've got D major, A major, F sharp minor, and E major. It's a pretty cool chord progression. What I would suggest doing in between all of your chords and for all of the chord progressions in this video is to play the A major pentatonic scale in between your chords. Now to really get that R&B neo soul sound, it's not just the chords that you play, it's how you play them, use some syncopation, mess around with the rhythms to kind of get a cool groove going on. So. Something like that, that was just off the top of my head. And then you could add the A major pentatonic scale in between each chord, so. So that's an example of something that you could do with this chord progression. Here's a bonus chord progression. This is not part of the five chord progressions that I've got prepared. Uh, if you switch the five and the six round, you get a totally different chord progression. So you get four, one, five, six, and it has a cool different sound. The next chord progression, chord progression number two, is the four, six, five, three chord progression. I don't know if you've noticed, but so far all the chord progressions have started with chord number four. Chord number four is a great starting chord for R&B, neo soul uh, kind of style stuff. It has a really cool sound to it. So the four, six, five, three in the key of A would be D major. That's our four chord. Six would be F sharp minor. Our five chord would be E major. And then our three chord would be C sharp minor. So. Now, something I'd suggest doing is embellishing these chords with sevenths, ninths, elevenths, thirteenths. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, go into the description and I've got the first two chapters of my book, Chord Charisma, for free. So if you don't win the book today, you've at least got those first two chapters, which will show you how to add sevenths, ninths, elevenths and thirteenths to all of these chords. And there's chord shapes and everything for you there. So it'll be really useful. Now, if I was to embellish these chords, I could maybe, this is off the top of my head as well, use uh, for the four chord, a D major nine. Then for the six chord, I could use an F sharp minor nine. For the E major, I could use an E major 11, uh, uh, sorry, an E 11. And then for the C sharp minor, I could use like a C sharp minor 11. So it could sound like this. and that creates a really nice sound. But again, you could just use the major and minor chords and they would sound great as well. So uh, let's see how it would sound if I was to 
stick in the A major pentatonic scale in between the chords. Something like that, just improvising there, so um, not my best work, but you get the point. So chord progression number three would be a two, five, one chord progression. A two chord is also another great chord to start your chord progressions on when it comes to neo soul. And a two, five, one is heavily used in jazz music. Uh, it is a very, is a staple of jazz music really, um, but it's also very widely used in R&B as well. So uh, two, five, one in the key of A major, two would be B minor, five would be E major, and then chord number one would be A major. So we've got And if I was to maybe embellish those chords a little bit. And then maybe if I was to put the A major pentatonic in between those chords, we could get something that sounds a bit like this. Chord progression number four is a two, three, four chord progression. So in the key of A major, two is B minor, and three is C sharp minor, and four is D major. So you can play it there where I've played it, or you could play it down there like that. So let's have a listen to how it sounds. If I add the pentatonic scale in between. Something like that. Okay, so the fifth and final chord progression would be a two six chord progression. So the two six chord progression is B minor and F sharp minor in the key of A. So B minor, F sharp minor. And they're both minor chords, so it's a bit of a darker, sadder, melancholy kind of sound. And with some pentatonic scale in between, we get this kind of sound. There you go, there you have it. The five R&B Neo Soul chord progressions that I've got prepared for you. So just to recap, you've got the four, one, six, five, which could be switched around to the four, one, five, six. You've got the four, six, five, three. You've got a two, five, one, you've got a two, three, four, and you've got a two, six. Now, for the giveaway, I'm giving away a full copy of my book, Chord Charisma, for free to one very lucky person. All you have to do is drop in the comments your favorite go-to chord progression that you like to play on guitar. Uh, I'm looking for more inspiration, so I wanna try out some of your chord progressions that you like to use. When you leave a comment, I'll look at all of them, I'll choose someone at random, and I'll email the winner uh, in a couple of days, I'll wait for a few comments to come in. Now, if you don't win, then you've got the first two chapters of my book, Chord Charisma, that you can get for free anyway. That's gonna show you a hell of a lot when it comes to making chord progressions anyway. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please click like, let me know what you thought in the comments, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I release a video, and I'll see you in the next one.